Welcome back to Football Manager 2019 with me, Simon Lehefe, in my Salford FC game in the pivotal match against Leicester for the championship title. It turned out to be a absolute stunner. 5-1. Uh, Salford crowned the champions at the end of this game. But look at the stats. This is what it's all about. So, 24 shots. Uh, compare that to the 8 of Leicester, 13 on target. Uh, so Leicester actually scored with their only shot on target, which is disappointing. 64% possession to 36 means that I was a ball hog, um, completing 84% of those passes, a lot of those tackles, and I still got those customary yellow cards. But what we're going to do is we're going to show you what happened in this game so that you can see for yourself how great that team played. So Danny Lloyd, he's my left winger. He is my assist king. And Shaw, he's a little 18-year-old from Man City. He is my goal machine. Again, Shaw involved, finding my wide target man, Gaffney, for the second. Lloyd again, off that left wing. Shaw again with the header. It's unbelievable the number of crosses that they're getting. Back through Lloyd again. Why haven't they picked him up? Gaffney, again, wide target man, far post, two goals for him. And now this was their lucky goal. I don't blame Ted Smith for that. I reckon the defence should have closed him down better. But again, Lloyd was on the ball. Found Greenwood. And the forgotten man, Rooney, he's barely played this season, meant that there was a 5-0 victory. And that crowned Salford as the champions. And as you can see, if I go to uh, the different bits, where is it? So if I go here, here. Uh, we can see what happens when you've won the championship. So uh, going back here, like I said, Rooney, the forgotten man, he'd managed to go 11 matches without a goal. Winning it, they said that pivotal match was a Crystal Palace match. I would probably agree, maybe. I was away, it was a hard game. Um, I took the lead, I then conceded, but great tenacity to get a penalty right after they've got a penalty, which is a bit weird in football. Um Here's the summary of the game. Advance forward, uh, Alex Shaw on loan, like I say, 18 years old from Man City, uh, giving them the lead. And as you can see, two goals for him. He was phenomenal. That's completely useless. Uh, the preseason odds, let's just point these out. I did a Leicester, 1,000 to 1 to win that. Relegation favourites won the championship with no real issue looking in here i think there's four games left and we've already won it a 13 point lead over leads i'd imagine qpr will go up automatically leads will probably finish third um and down at the bottom without being harsh i said fleetwood would probably go down looks likely they're they're pretty rubbish so average ratings danny lloyd my assist king he seems to be doing pretty well and on whole the squad has been really good in the last few games um seems to be getting a few goals alex shaw has been phenomenal rory gaffney put him as a wide target man he's phenomenal for some reason doesn't play well as a winger or a striker but wide target man he is excellent reagan booty again he basically holds the team together and Danny Lloyd's the assist king. So I've got my goals, my secondary goals, my kind of player that makes everything tick and my guy that makes the final pass. Really good season for them. Skybet Championship leaders promoted as the champions with four games left. Well done to Salford.